Hi, my name is Good Guy Mike. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to another quick and dirty tutorial for Life is Feudal. Today, on how to do the GM mode. Now, the GM mode is basically the god mode of this game and can allow you to do a lot of different cool stuff, all right? But first, you need to unlock it. So, GM mode can only be unlocked in either a server that you have created or that somebody else has created and given you the passcode to. Now, I'm not going to go through all the little nitty gritty bits of it because it literally took me about two hours to get this whole thing set up. The best way would be to find a dedicated server, find the um, GM that is on there, earn their trust, and then unlock GM mode. Okay, so once you do that, what you they will give you is the GM code. Okay, so how you first need to do though is you need to bring up the command prompt. All right, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Control tilde. Now, Control button is in the bottom left, the C T R L button, and the tilde is that little squiggly line that is at the end of your numbers. All right, so if you hit both of them at the same time, Control and then tilde. That will bring up the command prompt screen like this. Now, the first thing you need to do is turn G a GM on. Okay, so you're going to click slash GM, I believe caps, GM, space, and then you're going to put in the whatever the secret code is. All right, for me, it's my fun mode. All right, and this has turned the GM st stats on. Let's see. We'll scroll all the way to the bottom. See, GM status is on. Perfect. Okay. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to come out of that. Perfect. Okay. So the first thing I want to teach you is about camera mode. All right. So this will allow you to basically fly around the map similar to the Arbiter in um, the old Halo Forge. Okay. <clears throat> and what you're going to need to hit is F8. All right. You go into this first person view. Now, the first thing you want to do is hit Shift one and that's going to set your camera speed okay so that puts you about a walking speed <coughs> oh, pardon me um and then if you want to go a little bit faster hit shift two you go a little bit faster hit shift three go even faster okay and that goes all the way up to shift six now i would suggest against using shift six because it will blast you through the ground because at this camera mode you can actually go through the earth all right and you'll get lost in the distance and it's just gonna be a big old mess okay so flying around like this you hit q and e to go up and down all righty and then you can go and find whatever spot you want all right now once you get tired of the camera mode you can go and drop out of it by hitting f7 and that puts your guy back into his normal self all righty good deal Okay, so the next thing you're going to need to do is, or the next thing you may want to do, is change your skill set, okay? So, level up your stats so that you don't have to sit around and grind your skills up, okay? And how you're going to do that is, once again, going into the <clears throat> the uh, command prompt by control tilde, all right? And you're going to go s slash set my skill, all right, and then the skills, you can either write them out. So if I want to do, let's see, logging, set my logging to 100. Perfect. All right, um, and now my logging is 100. So if I go and I escape this, let's see, um, shift or not shift, pardon me, control tilde, and I look at my logging. Perfect. So my logging is 29 because it's Mac because it's locked because the previous one which is forestry hasn't been leveled up to 60 so you can't set these higher than they normally would so you wouldn't be able to set it to 103 because the max cap is 100 and you wouldn't be able to go past 30 30 you won't be pa able to go past 29 without first leveling forestry up to 60 okay so I'm gonna go ahead go through and I'm gonna level up all mine also if you don't want to go and type in some of these like construction materials preparations there is a url which i leave in the description which gives all of the numbers for the different skills but basically it goes like this this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you can go all the way through your skills like that leveling all of them up to level 100 until you're completely maxed out okay so i'll see you in a second i'm gonna go through and level up all my skills all righty so welcome back as you can see from my little dialog box there on the right, I have currently leveled up almost all my skills up to level 100. And if I hit L, you can see that most of my crafting skills are leveled up all the way and some of my combat skills. Now, if we go back to here, uh, what I did is I just went through and I leveled, set my skill, and then I set the ID for one, leveled it to 100, then I went 200, because that way you can hit all the prerequisites in a row, do that all the way till you get to about 20. Okay, so now that I have all these different skills up, what the next thing you're probably going to want to do is get some tools and items so that you can actually start building some things okay and how you're gonna do that is through this website all right I'm gonna pop it up in one second 
All right, perfect. So the Life is Feudal website, okay? And right here we have the Game Master Commands list that lists all the different commands that you can do, all right? And the nice thing about this is at the very bottom, it gives us the ability to search items that we want to spawn in. So if we go right here, we just type in the little dialog box. We're going to need, um, let's say we want some apples so we don't starve. Perfect. And it gives us the ID. See, is the um, command right here is at, um, add 1026, which is the apple ID, 1, which is the quantity, and 50, which is the quality. So if we go back to our game, we can actually do this. All right, so we're back in the game. Control tilde, slash add, all caps, add, one, zero, two, six. Okay, and let's give ourselves 50 level 100 apples. Enter, perfect. So exit the little thing there. And as you can see, we received 50 apples. And if we go to our side over here, we have 50 level 100 apples. Okay, pop it up, perfect. And that means that these these quality ones will heal 100% hunger. Luckily, you don't get hungry while you're in GM mode, but eventually you're going to take yourself out of GM mode, and that's when you're going to start getting hungry. Okay, so now that we have, now that we can do that, I'm going to go ahead and spawn myself in some tools. Alrighty, so as you can see, I spawned myself in a few tools, okay? So we have the blacksmith's hammer, which will allow us to do masonry. We have the saw, which will allow us to do carpentry, and then a shovel and an axe, so an axe so that we can chop down trees, a shovel so that we can flatten the ground. So what you're going to do now is you're going to want to start building some things. So we're going to go ahead, terraforming, flatten ground. Unfortunately, it's still you still have to go and manually flatten everything. The nice thing about it is that you take it takes a lot less time than it normally would. Okay, so let's see if we want to go lower ground right here, terraforming lower ground. See how much shorter that takes than it normally would. So terraforming goes a little bit quicker, but it still takes some time. Okay, so now what we're gonna do? Make sure we have this flattened ground. So terraforming, flattened ground, perfect. It's already flattened, and we're gonna go to our masonry build. And we want to build a, we're going to start ourselves a nice little castle. So we're going to build ourselves a stone wall. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Now, what you can do now is you can actually auto build these items. Okay, and how you do that is by going and hitting B on your keyboard. Okay, there's a few of these prompts that automatically build things. So if you go back to the website, we'll look and it will show us some of the prompts that automatically unlock from your keyboard. Alrighty, so back on the Game Master Commands website, okay, we can see that for the slash complete or B on your keyboard, or we can actually delete sections of buildings, so N. So if we build a building and then we decide that we want to change where it's at, we can always click N to delete it, alright? So, let's see, we'll go back and we'll change that. Alright, so we're back, so say we built this wall and we don't, we decide we don't like how it actually turned out, okay? So we just go, look at it, and then hit N. And just like that, the building is gone. And this works for any building. Buildings either that you spawn in or that you actually built manually in old-fashioned mode, okay? So the next thing you're going to want to do is set your stats so that your willpower and your strength are up so that you can move more stuff than an average human being. Okay, and how you're going to do that is, once again, bringing up the command prompt, slash set my stat. Okay, stats and levels are different. Stats are your strength, agility, stuff like that. Well, levels is your masonry and logging, okay? Stats determine how well your levels actually work for you, okay? So set my stat, and once again, if we go back to the website, it will show us the different um, IDs of the different stats. Alrighty, so if we're back on the website, okay, and you can see right here, set my stat ID value, the values go zero through four, so zero being strength, Agil um, one being agility, two constitution, three willpower, and four int intellect. All right, so we go. We will set ours through either one through f or zero through four, and then we hit in the amount that we want to raise our level to. Okay, so let's go back to the game. All right, so I want to raise my willpower, which is the amount of dirt that you can carry, and so I'm going to go set my stat space three, space. Let's set it to 100. Perfect. Okay, and now if we hit Shift tab, whoops, not shift tab, control tilde, and then we look at our stats, our intellect, <laughs> pardon me, I hit the wrong one, I must have hit four instead of three, our intellect is now at 100, okay, and that actually goes past our stat cap, that's one of the things, is that with god mode on, you can actually go past the stat caps, alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set all of these skills to 100, and then I'll meet you back. 
Alright, so now my stats are up to level 100, which means that I will hit extremely hard. I'll be very accurate with a bow. I have lots of health. I have lots of uh, carrying capacity. And I have lots of intelligence. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's see. I believe that is all the different commands that there are currently. The only other few is that you can get yourself some alchemy um, ingredients by doing slash regents. Um, R-E-A-G-E-N-T-S. And then the other one is that you can cause things to grow by doing slash grow, which basically moves the, the game server forward a whole day, causing everything on the server, including trees, to go through an entire growing cycle. Okay, guys, so the I will leave the descriptions for these websites in the URL. Or not the URL. <laughs> I will leave the URLs for this website in the description so that you guys can find the different skills and have the lookup and all that different stuff. There's two of them. One that tells the uh, stat IDs for the different level or the different your different skills and then one that tells the stat IDs for different items. Alright guys, so I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please leave a like, favorite, subscribe, all tells me out. You guys, keep being good guys and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Hey guys, this has been a quick and dirty tutorial for Life is Feudal. If you enjoyed this, then let him know by leaving a like, favorite, subscribe, or commenting and asking what you want in the next tutorial. Anyways, thanks for sticking around guys. Go ahead and check out the actual series, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.